Hello there, everybody. My name is Michael Gray, and today I am playing Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, chapter number four, with Michael Ridgway. Hello! So, uh, we have a fun little story about this video commentary. Michael, that would you like good. to tell it? So, um, we're, we've actually been recording, what, maybe... 16, 17 minutes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were talking chat before that. Uh... Until I realized that I was actually doing the next video. Um, this, is supposed to be, this is supposed to be Go Through 4, I was on Go Through 5. Um, I, I should have come to that earlier, though, in my defense, we were discussing themes that are actually fairly common throughout Ghost Trick. Uh, and as such, you know, only halfway through, it, it suddenly, I, I, I looked down at the little YouTube uh, title, I was like, wait a minute, five isn't four, five isn't four, and so... Yeah, so we were watching two different videos and doing commentary for two different videos, and we didn't realize it for a while. Yeah, so um, I do apologize when we get to uh, Ghost Trick uh, Part Five. Uh, I've used up all my A material, so uh, you're you're gonna get just you know totally B real stuff. Yeah, uh, used up. Ghost, Trick, Ghost Trick Four should be fresh and new. Mm -hmm. um, I have snarky things to say, uh, little wry observations. Uh, I'm, I might even sing a song. Uh, so you know we'll see. It's gonna be a special, special night. Yeah, it's interesting how the same <laughs> sorts of things happen over and over again. We have the creepy <laughs> pigeon man who's creepy, and Lynn dies multiple times. Oh my god. So this Lynn. is the second time she's been killed. And now uh, she's actually gonna be conscious this time, because last time she was unconscious and we couldn't talk to her. Probably just because it was chapter number one, and they didn't want to put too much plot, you know, onto us at the start of the game. You know, you're trying to fit in your tutorial, your, your, your general sort of yeah. application to the setting of the game. You don't want to, to quote one of my favorite musicals, nothing can kill a show like too much exposition. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, chapter one's long, too. It's like 40, 40 minutes long, and you can see all these videos are like 20 to 20, or they're more like 25 to 30 minutes long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the general video length is uh, 25 minutes per chapter, so that one's 40, so it's it's really long. Who, uh, whoever, you put these, uh, who did the play through my today? Was that you? I was the one who actually recorded all this off of the DS. I see. So, um, one of the things I did was, uh, you know, I tried to solve puzzles as quickly as possible. Yeah. Rather than being an interesting person and just, you know, having fun checking out all the various different things you can do. I just tried to do a speedy version because otherwise it's going to be a super long video walkthrough. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to be t totally TLDR. Um, yeah. For this, for this side of thing, if you're just like, well, uh, I think I'll move over here. Um, I'm gonna move. Oops, I failed to close it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and try again. Oh, let's move over this this way this time. Can do that. Look up, no, 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 no. For some reason, you're like Bob Ross. I don't know why. <laughs> I think that works if you're doing live commentary, but um, I mean, obviously, we're doing commentary over pre-recorded footage, so it it doesn't work as well. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Alright, so I, I like Lynn's background music here. Oh, you shot and killed once tonight. And you saved me? She was shot and killed several times. He saved her life uh, a couple of times in the first yeah. game. We're gonna count them as only once, though, right? I guess. 
Yeah, I guess for all intents and purposes. Because she wasn't technically shot, it's that she was going to get shot and then he saved her. And she well, did a really bad I mean, job of running away, because the hitman immediately caught up with her. I mean, that they established, though, that the, the person that you saved remembered everything from that period of time when they were killed, so... I mean, she... They're going to establish that later. It's more like when she's alive again, she's have, she'll have an easier time remembering what happened when she was dead. But when you're freshly dead, your memory just sort of stays. I don't know how that works either. Apparently that's how it works when you die. When you die, your memory is just shot. But when you come back to life, your memory is fantastic again. Uh, it depends on if you're a uh, quote unquote conscious when you die, which yeah. is. Yeah. And I think it's also sort of a joke. They make a joke about that in video number two, I believe. Because Missile, the Pomeranian, he remembers everything instantly. Right, right. But, you know, our hero Sissel, he barely remembers anything, and Lynn's having a hard time remembering. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe they're on the dope. Maybe this is like convenient amnesia. So, like we said earlier, you don't have too much plot <laughs> material at the beginning. Oh no, Lynn's just come down with explosive amnesia. And then, sort of near the end of the video, I think she's going to remember. I don't know, I forget if we talk to her again. I think we Very, uh, very soap opera you know? Yeah. People getting amnesia left and right. Um, you know, betrayals. Uh, people uh, supposedly dead coming back to life. That's soap opera. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when Lynn's evil sister, the Countess, makes an appearance, yeah. it blew my mind. Oh my god. I, I was not words. I I just, I'm going to say, I'm going to start saying random things on a spoiler alert. Yeah, uh, you know, I like yeah. saying that too. You know, like I was saying, you know, like, spoiler alert at the very end of the game when uh, Sissel is revealed to be a potato. Right. I mean, you are, you know, you probably shouldn't say that. But... Yeah, that's a, that's why you say spoiler alert ahead of time, so that way um, yeah. people can't get it's... mad at you. <laughs> spoiler alert, Lynn's actually made of chocolate pudding. Mm, that is delicious. Yeah. I um, that, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, Lynn right now, she wants to solve some sort of mystery, I think. Oh, Lynn, you and your fucking determination and short shorts. And she, she has short shorts, I'm just quoting, but I can uh, see her as a... She does not have short shorts. She has a very short skirt. Well, I mean, that's... we're going to see that um, not too uh, far from now. She's going to be bending over to use the phone, which is not really something you should do when your skirt is that short. <laughs> Although I guess nobody else is in the room at the time, so. Yeah, I mean. Oh, no. Yeah, her coat is the exact same length as her skirt, unless I'm mistaken. Didn't Cake write a song about women like that? Mm. Uh, short skirt and a long leather jacket. Oh my god, they did really good for a song about that. Yeah, there we go. Her coat is longer than her actual skirt. Huh. Yeah. Funny how that works. That must be why all the detectives have crushes on her, because uh, this guy here has a crush on her. If you go through a lot of the optional dialogue, he talks about you know, how he thinks she's cute and so on. Uh, maybe he just likes her hair. Or maybe he's got mirrors on his shoes and he's trying to get a peek. Ah, uh, so that's why he keeps his shoes so shiny. 
don't know, he's an interesting character, this one, because, you know, he's never given a name. He's just generic policeman number four, but of all the right. generic policemen they have, this guy has the most lines. Right. So, he kicked the hell out of uh, generic policeman number four. That guy totally just going to be... Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I was playing this game, and I was just like, you know what, I do not believe your performance at all. Why, why don't you leave and come back when you're ready to play in the big league? Because honestly, it's, it's insulting. It's insulting to everybody who's here, trying to be serious, and you're just trying to... <laughs> I, I was in a drama club, can you tell? Um, you know, I w recently saw a play, um, but I have not done any drama stuff in a long time. Oh. I watch a lot of soap operas, it's interesting we mention them, because, you know, I just started watching a second soap opera, so I realized I have no life. Pretty much, yeah. Because it's like, I don't... Two soap operas, to be addicted to two soap operas, it's like, well, yeah, now everybody knows I'm not doing anything in the afternoons. I mean, yeah, that, that, that's, that's... That's what I said about you, I mean. Mm -hmm. uh, what, 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 what's your favorite? Um, Days of Our Lives is my classic, but, uh... Well, there are only, like, three soap operas left on TV, because they've all been cancelled for cheaper shows at this point. Yeah, I mean, you know, reality TV is yeah. easy, because stupid people will do stupid things if they think they'll make them famous. Mm -hmm. well, also, they've been doing a lot of talk shows, I think, have replaced uh, the soap operas, because those are cheap, too. I don't know why. You think it costs a lot of money to get big celebrities on talk shows. Yeah, I mean, if they're promoting something, yeah, it's not easy to get silly. desperate people who are promoting stuff. But yeah, I imagine if you're a talk show like Ellen's, you know, Ellen DeGeneres, where she generally gets like big celebrities somewhat regularly, even when they're not doing something. Eh. I don't know though, because I feel like, and here we go, just you know, we're gonna start talking about Hollywood politics. Yeah, I not... feel like, I mean, you you got an agent, right? And you you want your agent to book you on things that will, well, okay, if you're not working, like if you're not in a movie, if you're not in a TV show, if you're not doing anything. If you are a celebrity, it is still well worth your time. To, to get out there, to be on talk shows, to, you know, be in the news, to remember, pe to, to remind people that, yes, you were still around. Yeah. Yes, you, you know, you're, you're good at what you do, people love you, and that, you know, you, you could be a part of a project. So, you know, I, I imagine, you know, Ellen at least has, like, a gift basket for people who come. Mm-hmm. But I I can't imagine that it's I mean maybe they're getting something but I can't imagine you know, it's 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 entirely on the side of the talk show to pay people to come on because you know they they could just as easily find someone who does have a project coming out at that time that is willing to go on there for free because they they need to pump that project. Well, yeah, I mean, um, you know, I've got two points. Basically, the talk shows that they create, they've been creating talk shows to replace soap operas, and they're not as popular as Ellen. I've seen, like, three of them tank within the past, say, like, three years. Oh, yeah. And easy. those are the desperate ones. I mean, those are the desperate talk shows, which will have anybody on. Yeah. Have you seen anybody have, like, Charo on, or, I don't know, uh, Pierce Brosnan? God, what's Pierce Brosnan done lately? I don't know. Last thing, last thing I remember him in? Mrs. Doubtfire? Uh, GoldenEye 64. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we just solved the first half of the puzzle here in the game where we actually 
the first half of the puzzle is to go outside because nothing interesting is happening inside with Lynn. We want yeah, to go outside yeah. where the murderer is. And if you actually hang around inside too long, Lynn is basically going to say, Hey, go outside and stop the murderer. I'm not doing anything in here. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, you know... I suppose it's good that they have, like, halfway points of these puzzles, right? So you can reload yeah. from the halfway point. You know, it, and it's, 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 good, it's, it's good in adventure games, or, you know, puzzle games like this. Because when you've already figured out, you know, the, the solution to the problem, just making you go through it again is just, you know, it's boring, you know? Yeah. If, you're trying to keep a, if you're trying to create a game where... Um, yeah, it, it, it's story-driven, but, um, you know, you, you, the potential for failure, you don't want to have people, you know, get frustrated by sitting there and have to sit through the same story again and again and again. It's just like, okay, I get it, you know, Lynn died, and then she came back, and now she's chastising Cecil, and Cecil's like, oh my god, how do I do this? Yeah, you don't need people to, you know, yeah. sit through that all over again, so, yeah, save points. This game does have a fast-forward feature, we should mention. You're not going to yeah. see this in the video walkthrough, because I'm never going to, like, repeat stuff. But you can fast-forward through uh, these conversations, if you've seen them before. Yes, and, you know, the, 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 the smart ones, yeah, definitely have that. And there are actually um, some cases where they actually completely skip over the super long conversations right chapter number uh i don't know 10 11 or something justice minister has a long conversation with his wife and uh, if you replay that puzzle they skip over the entire conversation because it's like five oh, minutes yeah. so that's nice. who the hell cares all right so now our puzzle is simply to get upstairs to where the uh where the murderer is, which is basically the exact same solution as we had in uh, the tutorial. Yeah, you, you want to use the blender and the fan at the exact same time in order to get up through the flag. That's this puzzle. Yeah, I was mentioning this in uh, the, the first sort of thing you did. I mean, uh, yeah, so yeah, the, the blender catches the string, and that's fine. I mean, that, that's totally something that can happen. But I believe the, the, the flag go back down, which I don't think that would happen. Uh, yeah, I don't believe that the blend, the, the rope would like magically leave the blender. Untangled, yeah. Huh. I need to get the bicycle here. And time is passing. Time is passing, and eventually the murderer is going to show up, and something interesting will happen. Oh, actually, it's right here. Yep. I see my target. Time to go to work. So apparently, they hired Spy versus Spy. As their hitman. Yeah. Um, which, you know, you'd think that you want to avoid those guys because they tend to get distracted. Um, and they're not, not very good at what they do. Uh, well, the first spy, you know, first hitman was kind of blind. He could barely see anything, which is just a bad investment. Yeah, really, it is. Um, why? You, I, I guess. I guess if you're trying to craigslist this hit, you take what you can get. Um, but yeah, I think nearly they, blind hitman. I think they were cheap. I don't know. Maybe they did this yeah. on the cheap. I mean, maybe maybe someone's got a budget here. Um, you know, maybe okay. there's been some some pretty big expenditures this year. Uh. Evil organization maybe was trying to, uh, you know, upgrade its, uh, uh, telephones or something this year. 
maybe they had uh, a work from home initiative they were pursuing. I think it was uh, they purchased a fancy submarine and they were working from there. I mean that too. I mean that 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 would be hidden drum for change. Yeah, but speaking of budgets, uh, here's here's something which is strange. Our policemen here, they only have enough budget to run three lot. Or we have three searchlights, but they only have enough in the budget to run two at once. See, so if you try to turn on all three searchlights, one of the third the third searchlight automatically turns off. Right. Which is a puzzle mechanic here. Yes. And it's because they're super cheap. So I guess, I mean, are they, they, they wired into the junkyard power supply? But I mean, that one's obviously on little power there. You know, maybe there's a guy whose job it is just to make sure that not all three lights are on at the same time. You know, why not fire that guy and just turn on the three lights? But, um, yeah, so we've noticed that whenever we turn the light on at the place where the hitman is, he goes away because he doesn't want to be in the light. So we're going to use these lights to get the hitman all the way over to the left-hand side of the board. Yep, looks like I messed up there. You know, I should have done a switch to Ghost World earlier when I was closer to this light. Let me see what else. Um, just turn on the flashing light, and then both policemen are just gonna automatically show up in that area. <laughs> Time is passing. Better get a move on, Sissel. Oh man. None of the policemen notice the hitman, who is apparently just resting on their van. All right, well, yeah. Well, there's no spotlight, that's why. Alright. Let's leave these guys are not... We can establish, these guys are really not the cream of the police crop yet. I mean, they, I mean the, the whole police department is kind of... kind of dumb. Yeah, uh, I think we actually are going to see the chief of police sometime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the two of us. I think chapter chapter two or, I mean, next video or the video after that. We'll see the chief of police. And he is not very good himself. He spends most spends most of his time just playing in his office with his feet. Itch, yeah, itching himself. I mean, that's... Yeah. Trust, dude. Come on, I mean, there's, there's powder for that. Yeah, so we got that going on. Yeah, so we have this part of the puzzle, which is kind of boring. The carbon blower. We have to go all the way back to the left again. I think it works because they give you plenty of time in order to do this because it's sort of a lengthy challenge. If they give you, say, like a minute less, this this challenge would be hellish. Yeah. I guess right now I'm just moving around the screen showing you all the important things. Because we're going to drop something on top of the Hitman right here. The beef? Are we dropping the beef? No, we're dropping uh, the crate. Oh. What, what am I supposed to... How am I supposed to make a dubstep, re dubstep remix if I don't drop the base? I don't know. Oh, do it anyway. My Ghost Trick Dub Tip Remix. Yeah. You're welcome, world. I notice Sissel doesn't seem worried at all about the fact that he just killed someone. Well, like I said earlier, or maybe it was in the last video, he's dead. He's dead. Whatever. 
Maybe he was just badly injured and not, you know, killed completely. Yeah, I don't know. We don't hang around to see if his corpse is there. I mean, it's, it's not... You care that he's dead? I mean, it was a bad guy. He was a hitman. You jerk. Mm-hmm. I mean, frankly, it's like it's not a whole lot of... Not really care... Not really care that... I don't care that he's dead. I mean... Yeah. He was trying to shoot someone. And he was terrible at his job. So... I feel like the world could do with less terrible hitmen. You only want the good hitmen to live. Hey, do we want the good hitmen to live, or do we want the bad hitmen to live? And I guess really if you're a bad hitman, you probably don't live long enough to be a good hitman, so... Yeah, it's just like... You know, with terrorists, you know, it's hard to get a good suicide bomber, because all the good ones are dead now. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a horrible off-color joke, but... It was, but, you know... It fits with a game about death and dying and people being killed left and right. So, um, uh, Michael, let's just, just make up a fake ending for the video. Wow, that was, uh, pretty intense. Uh, my favorite part was when Sissel had to inhabit the body of Abbott and, Co the bodies of Abbott and Costello and fight off Frankenstein. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was action packed. I, I don't know if this seat has a back, because I am literally on the edge. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the uh, next video, chapter number five of Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. Toodles!